the Sarsomaz CM9. Let's check it out. The CM9 Gen 2 is a 9mm hammer fired pistol, uh, this double single action based on the CZ design. Of course it's updated with the polymer frame, steel slide, but it still rides in the internal slide rails which really keeps it low to the bore axis, helps with recoil and accuracy. Uh, this is what they call the Combat Master 9. It's a little bit of a shorter version in the slide which makes it somewhat concealable, very close to the Glock 19 in size and yet it's hammer fired and man does it shoot smooth. These guns are made by Sarsamaz which is the largest European uh, gun manufacturing company in Europe. They build a lot of NATO spec uh, guns, equipment and gear. So we're going to take a look at this pistol, see what it's all about and uh, of course based on the CZ design I'm really looking forward to getting this gun out to the range. Guys, I love when I run into something that's just a little different, something that's not so run-of-the-mill uh, and, and just has some features that you just don't typically see. And that's one of the things about this CM9 Gen 2. And it's a Combat Master 9mm is what CM9 stands for. Uh, this is a about a Glock 19 size pistol. It's mid-size is what they call it. Uh, the uh, slide and the front of the frame have just been shortened. Um, and it's a 3.8 inch barrel, so about the same size as your Glock 19. Uh, it does hold 17 rounds and it does come with two magazines. And here I've got the, the rounds laid out, which is really nice to be able to up you know, that magazine capacity. So we're going to drop the magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded. Uh, now you can see we have the hammer in the rear position and this is a double single action pistol that is hammer fired. Uh, really this gun is kind of based really in the same category as the PO7, uh, but definitely a whole nother look to it. Uh, I've seen some of the European American arms pistols that are kind of similar to this. In fact, I did a review on one many years ago when I first really kind of got started with YouTube. Uh, but you see that you have your hammer in the rear position. One of the things I like about this pistol in particular is the safety. It has a cocked and locked safety. So I can carry this with one in the tube with the hammer back and have it in the cocked and locked position. So now being double single action means that when I pull the trigger it actuates the hammer from the down position. And so we have a fairly hefty trigger pull which is typical for double action but then with subsequent shots the slide comes back leaves the hammer back and then we have a little take up and a really nice snap. Um, just a little bit of resistance right at first right there and then snap. Uh, so it has a really a nice trigger pull. The slide itself is nestled into the frame which is typical for the CZ design and that really keeps your bore axis low and when the slide comes back it doesn't ride up high over the back of your hand it rides low. Uh, with the beaver tail it helps it to nestle in like this and so then when you fire it it's, it really helps mitigate the recoil. Uh, but not only that, it makes it more accurate. It locks itself into the frame, and so you're getting better accuracy. And that's what we see with the CZ75 designs. It has a polymer frame, and it's a very ergonomic handgun. You know, one of the things about one of the originals that I did, it just seemed to be a little bit top-heavy. But this gun, in particular, seems to be a lot more balanced. And it has some slight finger grooves right here. Uh, it has more of the CZ75 style where it comes up and so it naturally fits in the hand. Uh, it's not very aggressive though. 
but I'll tell you, while I was shooting it, I never felt like that it was coming loose. And to be honest with you, it was extremely hot down at the range. I was sweating pretty heavily. And uh, I, my hands were too, but I never felt like I was going to lose the grip on this thing. Uh, it just held very well. And I guess a lot of that had to do with the way the slide is nestled into the frame. Uh, now, the, it does have a Picatinny rail on the front. Uh, it has a squared off trigger guard. Your uh, magazine release is right here and it's metal. Um, and again, it's a 17 round magazine. You do get two of these. They have 10 and 15 round magazines available for states uh, that aren't so free. <laughs> Uh, and you can see that this can be switched to the other side if need be. Now, it does have the safety like we talked about, and it is somewhat extended, but it also has an, is ambidextrous. So you can go with this whether you're right or left-handed, and it just really fits the bill. Uh, we have our slide release right here that's also large enough to get a hold of, but one of the things about it, when you grip the gun, it doesn't get in the way of the slide release. And I know, especially with HKs, that can be a problem as you want to ride that slide release. Uh, it is the commander style hammer, and so it's not sticking out with the tank, and that safety really works well. Now the serrations on the slide have a very unique cut to them, as you can see, but then also it has them at the front. So this gives you both front and rear cocking serrations, uh, and you can do those press checks if you'd like. Uh, the barrel is a stainless steel barrel. Slide itself is made from a forged steel. Uh, so it's going to be good and heavy, and so is the barrel. This not only comes in a matte black, but it also comes in a brush stainless finish. Your sights are metal, and they're adjustable in the rear, and you can replace the front sights if you, if you need to. Uh, in fact, I had to adjust this sight just a little bit down because I was shooting a little bit low. But that makes it nice to have that sight, but yet it's real unobtrusive. I mean, it rides really close to the frame. Here you can see the rear sight, and the adjustment is right here with this screw. And then here at the front, you have your front sight. These sights really show up well when shooting. That dot's really large in the front, and here at the rear, it gives it a nice contrast. Now, as far as size comparison, I have a CZ75 Compact, and it's just a touch longer at the slide, but overall, it's the same size, uh, which this is the same size as a Glock 19. So you're getting about the same size as a Glock 19. The grip itself may be just a touch longer, but it's pretty close to the same size. Now we're gonna check the trigger pull weight. I'm gonna remove the magazine, check to make sure the gun isn't loaded. Uh, we have it in single action, and I'm gonna take my Lyman trigger gauge. Four pounds, 6.9 ounces. Four pounds, 11.8 ounces. 4 pounds, 9.5 ounces. So very acceptable, about just over 4.5 pounds in single action. Now as far as double action goes, 11 pounds, 3.5 ounces. 11 pounds, 3 ounces. 10 pounds, 9.5 ounces. So around the 11 pound mark. But it is a smooth trigger pull. Now let's test the reset. It has a very different type reset. Uh, it pops out about right there, and then that's it. It doesn't extend any farther out. So it's a short throw for your trigger. If you'll notice, it doesn't pop way out. It stays pretty close, which I really like that because it's going to be easy to get those follow-up shots. The pistol weighs 29 and a half ounces. It's seven and a quarter inches in length. It's five and three eighths inches in height, and that's from sight to the base of the magazine. Uh, and then the width is one and one eighth inch unless you get to the safeties and it's a little bit wider at one and five eighths inch. Because of the extended safety paddles, it's gonna give that width. But here at the front, it's really thin and it's gonna be really easy to draw. And then here you can see your slide release, how it's also extended and comes out a little bit. There is a loaded chamber indicator. We're gonna take a dummy round and place into the action through the top. You can see where the round will be and also on the side. Now there's a lot of really cool designs on this pistol. I mean, it has a very modular look. Now as far as markings go, you have your TR imports right here. And then we have Sarsamaz right here, but it's pretty subdued. And then here on the other side, CM9. Uh, it is made in Turkey. And again, the one thing about this factory is, is that it's been in business since the 1800s, 1880. And it is the largest firearm manufacturer in Europe. Uh, they do a lot of work for NATO and even do work for the U.S. government. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for sponsoring the ammo. We're shooting some American Steel 
Uh, also some new manufactured Freedom Munitions 115 grain and then the Pro Match 135 XAP round. And uh, good shooting stuff, you get a 5% discount using Such 00 at checkout. Always good to get a little discount on ammunition. <laughs> I was using the Freedom Munitions Pro Match 135 grain. Uh, the left right here was the first group. Then I brought it over here and uh, shot, actually I think eight rounds here. So um, good tight groups and um, I'm gonna have to adjust the sights a little bit to get it up, but um, I like those groups. And these are easy to see targets. When TR Imports got in touch with me about doing some reviews on their pistols, uh, this was not necessarily my pick. But one of the things they told me was this was their most popular model. I know that a European American Armory has a model kind of similar to this, and uh, I believe Rock Island Armory does. Um, it is an internal frame design, so the slide rides inside the frame, which is from the CZ design, which makes it really accurate, but it also helps mitigate the recoil. Uh, it just keeps it really low, very low bolt bore axis, and it was true with this pistol. Uh, I'll tell you, once I got my hands on it though, I really liked the looks of it. Uh, and with the ergonomics, the grip, the grip is, is really excellent. I mean, it's, it's just filling. It's not, there's not a lot of texturing going on, but it does give you a good solid feel. Uh, you feel like you've got a handful, but you, you don't feel like you have a 2 by 4 even though it has 17 rounds in the magazine. Um, of course, you know, it is hammer fired. Uh, but it's just very consistent and when I was shooting the three dot sights are, are very easy to pick up uh, And of course they are adjustable which makes it nice as well, but uh, it just shot very smooth It's really easy to get those follow-up shots uh, after you make your you know a couple of rounds I mean it just makes it just hammers right into the same spot and I really like that uh, as far as reliability goes and guys I'll tell you if you're having problems with reliability with your firearm there's really something wrong with it. Modern firearms and the quality controls they put in, you should not be having a lot of issues with uh, reliability. And with this one, I had zero malfunctions. We shot 200 rounds and I shot some different stuff. Uh, shot the Freedom Munitions, uh, Full Metal Jacket, 115 grain. Uh, new manufactured, I shot the American Steel, which is their steel cased, but it's black brass coated. And uh, that shoots really well. Uh, but then, shooting the Pro Match, which was a jacketed hollow point, and uh, it just fed well and that's what I use for the accuracy test. Now when I was looking at the pistol I was very curious to see if CZ75 magazines would work and I tried three different kinds one with just a metal base plate and then others with different style base plates even one that's extended and so we decided to test it out to the range to see if they'd work. And we're going to try some of the CZ75 magazines this is a uh, metal base plate it's a Metgar mag just gonna see if it functions. Yep. Now we're going to go with the polymer base plate. And now we're going to try the extended base plate. Lots of slide back and everything and music provided by ShootSteel.com and ShootSteel.com gives a 10% discount using Suit00 when you check out, which always makes it nice. Now we're going to disassemble the firearm. We have the magazine removed. Uh, the gun is unloaded. Uh, first thing we want to do is bring the slide back to this little notch to mate with the notch in the slide. And here you can see the two dots connecting right here. Once this is lined up, you can take a screwdriver, we're going to take a dummy round, and from the other side we're going to push out the slide release. And then we just pull it straight out. Now we can remove the slide from off of the frame. Uh, you'll notice the internal slide rails right here. 
they do fit inside the frame, which is really beautiful. That's one of the things about CZ that has such an appeal. Uh, here we have the guide rod, and it is an all steel guide rod with dual recoil springs. It's not captive. And then we have our barrel, which we're going to pull out. Uh, really high polished, beautiful barrel system. And this is all you need to do to field strip the pistol. Now I've been very impressed with the internal finish of the firearm and a lot of times companies are not very careful finishing. Now there is some residue from firing it. It's really a lot more smooth than it looks right here. And the internals in the frame very similar to the CZ. Now to reassemble just in reverse order we place in our barrel. We take our recoil spring and guide rod. Be careful not to bind that guide rod or the spring. Now you'll notice there's a little nub on the guide rod that will fit into the barrel into a little notch. Next we just take our slide and again it goes inside the frame. Now we're going to line up our dots back here and then we just return our slide release. And we're ready to go. Now it comes with a nice blue sturdy box. And then we're going to open it up, a very uh, detailed owner's manual and a lot of information. Of course you get the pistol, extra magazine, there are three back strap choices. So you have one on the pistol and you have two others. We have a bore swab and a cleaning rod. And we also have a sight adjustment tool, a really nice punch, and then we have a little hex key. One thing also that I want to mention is that on the TR Imports website, they sell these magazines for $19.95 and their CZ75 magazines for $19.95. And those are 17 rounders, and that's a great deal. Sarsamaz makes a number of different type pistols. Uh, they even make revolvers. And you can go to trimports.com. I'll have the link down below and to see what different guns that they are importing into the U.S. There is a strictly CZ-75 design that they're doing, and there's some a couple of others that are pretty fascinating. But the big thing about the CM9 Gen 2 is that it is the most popular firearm made by Sarsamaz. Now, as far as retail price goes on the TR Imports website, uh, it states 361 to 380. So I looked up a few sources and found it as low as $259 and around just under the $300 mark. Pros and cons of the pistol, uh, definitely with the internal slide rails, it's very easy to get those second, third follow-up shots. The recoil is very much mitigated, uh, much softer than a traditional hammer-fired pistol. Um, and the accuracy is excellent with these guns. Uh, the quality is nice. I mean, the, everything about the internals was good. Um, you know, the ergonomics on this pistol is fantastic. One thing too, of course, is the price. And a sub $300 hammer fired 9mm pistol based on the CZ is definitely a huge plus. Uh, as far as cons go, uh, it is made in Turkey and some people are going to definitely feel that that's a con. Uh, one other thing is, is parts availability. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of the uh, similar designs parts will fit into this gun uh, considering that the CZ 75 magazines work uh, that gives it a big plus there are a few cons but there's not really anything to do with the function and reliability of this pistol again at the range we had zero malfunctions uh, I shot 200 rounds at one range time and then we went down again and shot hundred rounds and uh, just very smooth shooting uh, no hiccups whatsoever and guys, like I've said before, if you're having problems with your pistol, it's typically just something wrong with the pistol. These guns are just good shooting guns with current technology. You should have a reliable firearm. And I want to thank TR Imports out of Texas for sending this pistol for the test and evaluation. Uh, it's really nice to be able to get something that's totally different to bring to you guys to show you some of the technology and things that are out there on the market. The more different type firearms we have out there, the more choices we have. So you'll be seeing this coming up in some other videos. We're going to do some comparison, especially with the CZ P07. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic, and may the force be with you.
the CM9. And uh, because of the extended, because of the extended, because of the extended safety paddles, I think Freedom Munitions to where by the time it's over with, you don't even know what the freaking crap you're talking about. The firearm, getting it out to the range and testing it out. And I'm itching because the freaking mosquitoes.